Number 9 then from the 2017 Advanced Higher Maths. Here we go, for 5 marks, solve this differential equation given these initial conditions. Express y in terms of x, as you would. Well, it's just a little first order differential equation. You've only got the first derivative there. And quite conveniently here, look, you've got two separate factors. One involving only x, one involving only y. That means you can separate them quite easily. I'll take the y's over to this side to join its differential dy. It'll have to go underneath it. And I'll take the dx over to this side. e to the 2x dx. Separate the variables. Now they're ready to go, so let's integrate them up and collect the first mark. Now the next part is, these are readily identifiable. That's inverse tan. So we've got inverse tan of y equals and e to the whatever just stays as e to the o whatever. But since it's a function of a function, the inner derivative is 2. And if you're integrating, that will be divided by that 2. So that's a half of it. Plus c. Doing that gets 2 marks because you get 1 for integrating each side. 3 marks so far. Now, you could tidy it up and gather the c along with it. But you're better off working out the C as soon as it rears its head. It's usually simpler that way. So I'll pop in my initial conditions. Inverse tan of Y. That'll be inverse tan of 1. A half of E to the 2X. That's a half of E to the 0. Plus C. Well, 1 came from 45 degrees. But it has to be in radians, of course. So pi up in 4. E to the 0 is just 1. So that's a half. Which means, unfortunately, C is made up of two bits that don't readily join together. C is going to be pi upon 4 minus a half. That's the mark. Now all that remains for this final mark here is just to put it all together. It will pop it in first of all. Inverse tan of y is a half of e to the 2x plus these two parts. Now certainly in the marking scheme they just leave it like that. But I think I'll try and gather them up into a single constant by putting them over 4, which means that'll be pi, but that'll have to turn to minus 2 upon 4. Now you can get y in terms of x by applying the inverse of the inverse of tan, which of course just goes back to tan. And there's not a lot you can do apart from, say, tan of this side. Tan of a half of e to the 2x plus whichever way whether you left it separate or put them together. I'll just leave them together. There's the last mark now. Now that should have been a quick and easy five marks to add to the pot.